be tried. Welcome everyone, Galarian Sangby here with a surprise let's play. Now, there is a game I've been thinking about let's playing and the timing for it could not be any more perfect. Um, if you read the title of the video, you will know it is The Bear and Bird Banjo-Kazooie. Now, why? Well, for starters, we know that they are coming to Super Smash Brothers, and I'm looking forward to playing them in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And as of today, there was an announcement that a direct would be happening tomorrow, and and we all know that a date for them will probably uh, be given out for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if their shadow dropped. Of like here they come out today so I thought to do a let's play of this game uh, one of my games of my childhood but in their honor um, also also hopefully in the direct we'll find out more about other games especially potentially the SMK character that's been leaked or whatever so yeah so let's play Banjo Kazooie So I will be um, silent for a little bit for the intro of this game, and I will get back to you shortly after that. Man, I love that intro. Uh, a few differences in the intro because I'm playing the rare replay version of it. Uh, mainly because it's the only version I can record at the current moment and it's also the superior version. However, the Switch version 
if the Switch version of this game comes out like tomorrow, I am totally gonna switch that. Anyway, the differences in the intro as I press start. The differences in the intro, you would have seen the Nintendo logo walking around while that little bug thing was flying around. I'm not too familiar with some of the enemy names of this game. I should actually look them up. And, um... Yeah, what I was about to say. And, um, the... When, um, uh, Mumbo was playing the xylophone there, it would have, I think, Nintendo on it instead of Microsoft Studios. So, um... Yeah, so let's... Pick a file. So yeah, so there's three files. They're completely empty. We have Banjo sleeping on a bed, Banjo cooking, and Banjo playing a Game Boy, which I'm surprised they kept that in for the Xbox, um, for the Xbox Arcade version of this game, which is what Rare Replay uses. So let's pick this one. I that is a pretty good scene. I don't know if I should talk over these characters. Um, let me know if you want me to talk over them. Um, like voice their lines, cause I am curious. So, um, a few differences. One, when Grunty turns to leave, 
even that room with her pot. Um, there's a bit of a delay there because I think it was meant to cut the black sooner, sooner, and I think it did that in the N64 version. And secondly, um, when uh, Grunty is trying to kidnap Tui, um, I think that's her name. Um, there's supposed to be sound effects of a fight, but I didn't clearly hear that. But anyway, before we go out, let's check out Banjo's house. Pretty nice place. Very small, but they're pretty nice. You. Oh my god, you are a root of a very nasty glitch in this, in this version of Banjo. I will talk about that at a later date, but just know that there is a pretty bad glitch related to this picture. So let's adventure out. You know what, I might actually do voices. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the sword-sided mole. I am Banjo, and this is me, here my buddy Kazooie. Sure, it's a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, and Goggle Boy. What was that all what was all that noise about? Uh, where's my sister, Tui? That ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Gigi. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go oh, up there. Press A if you wish to have me teach you some basic moves. Yeah, I think we should go down the basics. So let's accept this training. We would like some help, bottles. What will we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. Okay, so let's take a look. So this here is Spiral Mountain, which is going to be the stage with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, here we go. Uh, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera. Uh, controls. They are on the right stick. Jeez, that's not nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all, Worm Breath? No. Hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your or feathery butt. Try it out. You'll see it at the next molehill. Yep, yeah, so... So I have full control of the camera. Oh, this game brings back so much of my childhood. I absolutely played this game a lot when this game originally came out. So let's go up here. Uh, nope, didn't want that button. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe type attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good, what can I try it out on? Well, how about a bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding, let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's a topper. Or uh, whack. Ugh, I missed the rest of that dialogue. So, pretty much, we can press the wrong button. Do this. The most useless attack in this entire game. Game, so. We beating up that carrot. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Yeah, you are not going to be using this attack at all. This attack is pretty useless. Now, try fearsome foreign rolling. I want to learn to fly now. 
Roll by running and press X. You will see if I can find a brawl for you to practice on. So now we got this onion. Yeah, the enemy will not hurt you. This attack is a bit more useful than the claw sh or swipe. Bullseye, one more. Stop brawling, I feel sick. It's time for Blizzard to learn Buzzer to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squirmy. Try out the ratata uh rat uh, by jumping and pressing X in the air. Now where is the cumblebee? This is also gonna be another main method of attacking. Hmm, not bad, feather face. Give me another, Buggles. You've learned all the basic attacks now. See you around. And... Ooh, we were supposed to get a line of dialogue. Oh, for that item. Uh, hopefully we get it the next time I pick it up. And so now enemies will be around Spiral Mountain. Mmm, non-sticky tasty honey energy. That is pretty much how you're gonna recover your health. Let's go over here. My big barrage attack needs help of an old chicken leg. At least I got something some legs, short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger and press X for a powerful beaky barrage. Another move that is extremely useful. Bashing into stuff. See, Banjo, she's useful for something. Mmm, I'm trying this move out on the next jam 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 jams? Are that what these things are called? Anyway. Let's smash all the rocks. Here we go. I am an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your li your energy bar. So this, so collecting six of them will pretty much give us more health. That is extremely important. Oh wait, I don't have that move yet. Did it out of pure instinct. Hey Banjo, I hope you're not uh, afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, root batter. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the left stick to climb up or down. Just like he said. We can climb. You will find plenty of other things to climb. So there we go, and look! Extra honeycomb bees. Let's grab that before we talk the bottles. Oh wait, do I? Can I not get that? Hang on. I think this... Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult. I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Becky. Use the left stick to swim. Aim on the surface and to swim underwater, press X to dive. Go on, give it a try. So yes, we can swim, and also, yeah, Kasui is, she's not the most kindest character out there. And here we go, swimming on the water. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and the Wing Wonder can press X, X to use her wings. You want to pretty much use this, this will get you around the water faster. Having Banjo use his legs is if you want to have more precision movement. Honeycomb peas. And get out of the water. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, if I have accepted the training and I just want to leave early, early, I can just go up to Gruntilda's lair. Let me show you the reason why that will not work. 
So as we go up and up and up around... Hey, where are you going? Where are you guys going? We're off to whack the witch and we really rescue to you. You haven't learned all of the butt basics yet. She'll kick your butt. She can try, the old hag. The bridge is broken and I'm not fixing it until you learn all the moves. Come on, Kazooie, let's go and find the others we've missed. Yeah, so if you chose to accept the training and you want to try and leave early, you can't. And you have to learn all the moves. Kill an onion. Now here we go. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Bah! What do moles know about jumping? The more, more than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. So let's... Oh, we can't move, period. Come on, feathers. Can you give him a hand? Why? I'll look silly. I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. That's it. We've all ready to move on. Not until you learn this one first. You must stand like this. What, wearing ridiculous glasses and a, and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the, for the mighty flap flap jump. This is going to be really useful. That's it. You've learned all the basics, basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain, and I will tell you what to do next. So yeah, now that we know all the basics. Six. Let's jump around. Yeah, so this will give you a double jump um, and also kind of give you a little bit more air time. Doing this will get you to high places like this. Really useful. Now I can actually go and get that extra honeycomb piece that I couldn't reach before, because I believe before you learn how to j jump, your jump is gimp. Now there's one more to get, and if I remember, yeah, it's right over there. So let's test our jumping abilities. Yay! And there we go! We got more health, but I see something in that waterfall. Let's try and grab it. Look out for me! I'm an extra life! So apparently grabbing trophies of Banjo will give you more lives. Well, let's go to the top of Spyro Mountain. Let's go to the top of Spyro Mountain. I could listen to this forever. This is probably going to be one of the songs in Smash Ultimate, given that Spyro Mountain is going to be the stage. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. I fixed the bridge it's so you can cross it and enter Gratilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. So in the next episode, we will go into Gruntilda's lair and take the fight to the witch.